What we have here is what I believe to be some kind of HRS industrial ceiling fan. However, there are no markings that confirm nor deny that claim. The fan is manufactured sometime back around the mid to late 1980s. 56 inch blade span, cast iron motor, stamped aluminum curved profile blades. Here's the information tag on the top there, which is very informative. It doesn't give any telltale sign of who made it or whatever. Canopies are plastic, half inch down rod, which is not original to the fan. So the basic design of it looks very similar to the HRS labeled industrials of the late 1980s. However, like I said, typically those are labeled as such and the other differences between those two and this fan is the canopies were metal on the HRS, the down rod was three quarter inch diameter on the HRS, and the way the clamshells of the motor were still were bolted together, these use a countersink screw holding things together while the HRS ones used a protruded nut system like you see on these SMCs. So those are the only differences that I can pick out without actually owning an actual HRS variant to compare in person with. So yeah, a little bit of backstory behind these. I pulled these, pulled this one and another identical to it out of a local auto parts store that I've been going to ever since I was a kid. I've never seen these run. And it turns out the power was cut to them at some point in the past. I think because of the roof leaked and water got into these fans. This one here was locked up completely when I got it. Had to take it all apart and clean it out and put new bearings in it to make it work as good as new again. So yeah, let's go ahead and start things up. So you can kind of hear that this fan does have a 60 cyclic buzz going to it. And I think that is because of the fact that the top half of the motor is not a very tight fit where it sits into the bearing. It's a, you know, pretty easy for it to come apart. And typically these are press fit in and very hard to come apart, but this one was pretty easy. So kind of thinking that it's not as tight as it should be which it's no big of no big deal but it does make that clunking sound and creates that 60 cycle buzz but despite that very smooth running fan of course for purpose of the testing we're using a five speed coil choke wall control go up to medium medium low Go to medium.
medium high. And full blast. So pretty decent performer for industrial. I'd say we're cruising at around 250 RPM here. So not the most powerful industrial I've encountered, but it's not too bad. Moves a pretty good sum of air for, for what it is. Cut the video and we'll show you the next fan. And here is the second fan. This one here was free spinning when I got it, but I went ahead and put some new bearings in this one as well. Before I forget the, like I said, uh, <clears throat> down rod's not original along with the mounting. This is a half inch rigid conduit, and the mounting is. This is what it looks like here. This is just a, I think these are mainly used for light fixtures. Some sort of double clutch swivel mount like that. Not really intended for fans, but that's what they use to put these things up with. The down rods were much longer. The first fan was around four feet long, and then this fan was around five feet long. So, all right. So this one here, we're not going to cycle through the speeds. We'll just... Crank it straight to high. This one here seems to run a lot smoother than the first fan. It seems to not have that loose bearing situation on the motor. So this one here is perfectly smooth. No clunks or 60 cycle hums to this one. Runs about the same. And all right, and that is that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on these two HRS looking like industrial ceiling fans from the mid to late 1980s. Stay cool. Take care. Peace.